The resurrection of Jesus matters. In John chapter 20, what we're reading this week, and even in 21, we see something amazing. Jesus rose again from the dead. See, in, in chapter 19, we saw him beaten, bruised, and he actually handed over to be crucified. And he gave up his last breath and died. He cried out, it was finished. And then they buried him in the grave. And the crazy thing is, it wasn't just a spiritual thing that Jesus was talking and the disciples were making up. Jesus actually went to them and said, I have a resurrected body. I did what I said I was going to do. I would die and rise again. He said, feel my wounds, touch my wounds, look at my body. He ate with them. He talked with them. Now, why is this important, a resurrected body and the resurrection? Well, because he said he would die and rise again. In Matthew chapter 20, verses 17 and 19 through 19, it's, he says, The Son of Man will be flogged, will be crucified, and will rise again on the third day. In John, we've read in this gospel, many times Jesus predicted that he would be lifted up and crucified and then rise again. In John 3, 14. In John 12, 32 through 33. It seems crazy and impossible. And the disciples sort of ignored it because it was so crazy and so impossible. But here's the deal. Jesus always does what he says, even if it seems impossible. And the resurrection proves that Jesus is faithful to his word. He said it over and over and over again, and he did it. And the resurrection shows that not only does he say a lot of crazy things that are impossible to us, but he actually proves that he can do it and have the power to do what he says. I love 1 Corinthians 4.20. It says, The kingdom of God just does not consist of talk, but is of power. This is who we're dealing with. The God Almighty. That He is the Son of God. The living King. That He's able to do what He says. And He came on the scene in John chapter 20, verse 19, and said, Peace be with you. Meaning that their sins were forgiven. That they didn't have to be afraid anymore. The resurrection shows us that sin and death was conquered. And I want to remind you today that Jesus is alive. That he is a God that does impossible things. He is still speaking to us amazing promises from his word. And I know sometimes they seem impossible. But here's the deal. He does what he says. And he's able to do what he says. He's powerful enough. So even if you're afraid right now. Even if you're clinging on to the promises of God. And you don't know how they're going to come through. Can I just remind you today. Something incredible. The resurrection proves that Jesus does what he says. And he has the power to do it. Jesus is alive. Thank you.